districts have some great models in place. Some of them they can build on, some they can't. Um, when I walk you through the flow chart, you'll see that one of the steps is districts actually have to take stock in what they have. And fortunately, when you look at professional development, very few districts and states for that matter evaluate the impact of professional development. One of the things that we keep raising, and we raise it again here as being one of the critical aspects of implementing Common Core, is you need to take stock of what you have, what you're going to offer in terms of professional development, and then actually look at whether or not it makes a difference. Because if not, it's frustrating for the teacher to sit there and go through this professional development, and then it doesn't have the impact that it was supposed to have. Um, and if you continue down that, that road, it's, it's not going to serve anybody well. So I think the answer to whether or not districts can use what they have in place, it really is going to vary district by district. But once they know, okay, we can use this part of what we've been doing, but we're going to have to shed this other aspect that doesn't work. One example, with English language learners, we have historically used a lot of simplified text. And that was just the nature of the field. That's what we got from a lot of textbook publishers. That is not going to get us to complex text. And so at that point, you say, OK, shall we use simplified text for very low levels of English? But at what point do you not use it and you start introducing complex text? Well, that's going to be a, an answer that has to be developed with a number of components. It's not just the textbook. It's also, are teachers trained? And are, are they ready to do that? If they're trained with working, uh, for working with simplified text, you can't just assume that they can quickly transfer over to working with complex text. So that's where it's an answer that has to do with resources, the actual instructional materials, but also the training.